just when you think it can't get any worse. A 72-year-old man from New Jersey is now facing up to 10 years in prison after he told a sheriff's deputy he had an antique flintlock pistol in his car when they were pulled over for a minor traffic violation. That's right, a firearm from the mid-1700s. In this exclusive interview, Gordon Van Gilder told me he faced a number of challenges head on when he attended Augusta Military Academy and taught at Millville High School in New Jersey for 34 years. And that now he's more determined than ever to beat what has become a relentless assault on law-abiding gun owners and our firearm freedoms in the Garden State. Take a look. Beware of New Jersey. Don't come here. Don't live here. Yeah. Here I am, retired teacher coming out of his house in handcuffs, who had a flintlock pistol, and now I'm charged as a felon. It's unbelievable. It's outrageous. It's an insult to decent people. It's a mid-1700s flintlock bona fide antique pistol unloaded and yet he's facing the same draconian penalty as if he had a 44 Magnum loaded on his person. It doesn't matter and there's no distinction. This is not a self-defense type gun. This is a wall hanger. This pistol celebrates its tricentennial this year. It's 300 years old. It's just the old tried and true method that cavemen were using, flint and steel. The reason I got the firearm was it goes with my collection of 18th century objects. I love of history. Well, the beauty of the design of the gun and the mechanics of it, it had a barrel which was exactly shaped like a Queen Anne cannon. What other constitutional right is treated where there's a presumption of wrongful possession Yet that is how guns are treated in New Jersey. Gordon was arrested last November. It all started when he was headed home one afternoon after going out to get some lunch. And they were pulled over by a sheriff's deputy from Cumberland County for a minor traffic violation. A deputy, uh, Joshua Shepard, stopped us. He started screaming at us. He wanted to search the car. He said, you're gonna give us your consent or do I have to get the dog? I said, you don't have to get any dogs. Help yourself. He did, and he says, is there anything in here that I should be afraid of? I said, well, I have a flintlock pistol, and it was wrapped up, by the way, in the glove compartment. You know, I thought I was completely within my rights. They were uh, trying hard to nail me. I, I don't know why. I don't get it. I mean, you think it can't get any worse, and it gets worse obviously no threat to anyone. And he's facing up to 10 years in state's prison with a minimum mandatory three and a half to five years, no chance of parole, because New Jersey's modern handgun law includes antique handguns. Maybe technically I did violate New Jersey law, but as a very wise man said once upon a time, if that's the law, then the law is an ass. I can think of young people around here who have committed some horrendous crimes, and they've gotten a slap on the wrist. It's the world turned upside down, run by oppressors, I'm afraid to say, who uh, get their agenda through. You name it, New Jersey regulates it, and they just don't make it into misdemeanors. Every one of them is a felony. Every one. You have a slingshot in New Jersey. You face a felony charge, it doesn't matter. When you showed that officer who pulled you over that firearm, did he have any idea that it was no. an antique gun? No, he didn't seem to have a clue. I imagine uh, that would have been a surreal moment. This is not a gun that law enforcement would encounter on a regular basis. They're considered antiques by federal law. One of the under sheriffs said, uh, well, let him go, it's 250 years old. But his boss, who is the sheriff, uh, said, no, uh, we have to arrest him. Next morning, I am um, sleeping, and I hear big pounding on the door, and four of them came and handcuffed me and took me away with three or four sheriff's cars. I guess they didn't have anything better to do with taxpayers' money, by the way. I was uh, fingerprinted, and I was chained by my legs to an ice-cold bench 
Apparently there must be a lot of drive-by flintlock shootings in uh, North Jersey to uh, account for the fear the state has of ancient collectible pistols, clearly. I can't uh, help but blush at the thought of a 72-year-old man being arraigned on charges stemming from, uh, you know, the innocent possession of a uh, flintlock pistol. Uh, because we're not talking about modern, self-contained, metallic, you know, ammunition. And as you can see, it's not just a matter of dropping powder and ball down a barrel. I've got to unscrew this thing. And I've been working on that since we started talking. Then you got to pour the shot and the powder in, and then to put it back together. Well, this is going to be about two shots a minute if you're lucky. This is a firearm that you would be, you have to be mighty desperate to even consider using it. The prosecutor handling your case told Evan Knapp and your attorney that they have to do ballistic testing on your firearm. You're kidding. I have no idea why. Ballistics testing on a black powder gun is pretty much an exercise in futility. Most black powder guns are smooth bore. They don't leave a ballistics trace other than gunpowder. You're just left scratching your head. Why are you so determined to fight this, Gordon? I like to mind my own business and not bother anybody, but I have no choice here. I've been thrown to the lions, so I'm gonna fight back. When you do this to law-abiding citizens, even though they're scared, they're also believers in principle and are willing to stand up, because that's what law-abiding people of principle do, and they're brave to do it. Well, I want these people to know that they're messing with the wrong guy, because I know my rights, and they're not gonna get away with this. Gordon's case screams out for making New Jersey's gun laws in conformance with the federal law. Federal law has antique firearms as an exemption. This should have never happened. Discretion. What happened to discretion? I'm um, charged as a felon. That could ruin my life. That could hurt my pension. But I spent 34 years acquiring. I couldn't vote, no. And it's not right. It's not fair. New Jersey has lost its, its compass in terms of what's freedom and what's liberty. Look, there, just today there was an article on the paper. Exodus from New Jersey. More people are leaving New Jersey than are coming to New Jersey. Want to know why? Here's one of the reasons. Laws like this make people want to go away. I'm leaving too. I'm on the way out of here. This is overreach for sure. This is a real grab of power. It is truly about freedom, and hopefully we can restore that gift and vision of liberty. I mean, that's what we need here. Well, I hope that uh, draconian laws leading to a police state will be dropped. I think I can win this, and if I don't, my heart is lost for all of America. It's the loss of our history and our tradition and who we are. Who are we and what are we?